application. So I'll demonstrate that how to fill this web form using automation anyway. Okay. How to fill this web form using automation anyway. I'll tell that. Okay. So let me take that. Let me take a new task. Taking name. So here, what is the information I need to fill is? This first name, last name, gender, date of birth, and hobbies should be filled here. Okay, how can we do that? Is so here I need to fill this information. This first name has to be filled, and last name has to be filled, and date of birth has to be filled, and gender has to be selected. Gender has to be selected. And hobbies has to be filled. So by doing this, see, we will come to know that how to fill the text box. Okay, this is the text box. Here we are selecting the data. And how to select the data from the drop down? See, this is the drop down. And how to select the radio button? Okay. And how to select the check box? All these things will be learning with this particular task. So this is the motive of this particular automation. So in this automation, I will make you understand how to do all these things, how to fill the data in the text box and how to select the data from the drop down and how to select the radio button and how to deal with the check boxes as well. So the difference between radio button and check box is, see, if you use the radio button, any one will be selected, either this one or this one, if you observe this one. So come with the check box, you can select multiple things, okay? You can select multiple things. Okay, like this, we can learn how to deal with the web application. So first let me go to the task. So I'll be creating the task for, sorry, I'll be creating the variables for each and every field here. So for the first name, I'll be creating a variable called First name. So here I am taking as same type first name. Okay. And here I am choosing that use as input. See, for now just remember that I am selecting this one as use as input. In the coming classes, I will let you know why I have chosen this. Okay. And I am defining the default value as CC. Okay. In the same way, I am going to create last name this is also input only yeah Umar, i'll say that next variable is day i'll be giving as a day see here this one i am not selecting as input okay create And month. Okay. Here, create and gender. Also, I'm creating. And the last thing is hobbies, right? For the hobbies, I'm selecting the list type, not the string type, because see here in this screen, the hobbies are multiple, right? The single person can have multiple hobbies. The single person can have multiple hobbies. That's the reason I'm going with the list. Hobbies are selected. And I'm thinking this one also has input and the default value at the zero position, I'm just adding only one hobby. Uh, that is uh, 
I'll say tan theta. Tan is there, right? Just click. There, but let me go with the drawing. Drawing. Okay. Drawing here. So now I need to update one by one. So how can I do that is, see, in the previous classes, we used the capture to capture the data from the web screen, right? In the Vodafone idea automation scenario. Okay, if you haven't remembered, just to go through the videos, uh, will be if you that here by using the same capture command, I can update the data as well. In the previous example, in the Vodafone Idea Plans example, I just uh, get the data from the web page by using the capture command. But here, by using same capture command, I'm updating the data on the web page. So I'm taking the capture command here and I'm selecting the browser. It is not showing any tab, right? If I refresh it, it will show you all the tabs. Now, this time I can do this one. So then I'm going to tap here. Capture the first name. Extracting the the properties I'll go back here it's captured See, I just uh, I'll remove all unnecessary parameters I'll just keep the required parameters only rest of the means are all things not required for me saving it so whenever I capture if the capture is done then what action need to be taken See here, I need to set the data, right? For that, the reason I'm selecting here, like set text. The set text, I'm just giving the first name variable. First. And here, time between the keystrokes milliseconds. So here, I'm just giving 200 milliseconds. If I don't provide this uh, uh, time here, what will be happen? In the speed, bot may do the typos. Instead of entering chassis, it may enter as psi, like this. Some characters may miss. To avoid that uh, problem, it's better to provide some delay. Okay. So that's the reason I'm providing this delay. The same way, I'm going to capture the last name as well. This time, again, I'll be recapturing. And I'll be capturing. Last name. Last name captured. Here also I'm setting the text in the same way. Here also I'm giving the last name variable here. Last name variable. Here also I'm providing 100 milliseconds. Next. The next capture command, I need to enter the date of birth, right? So for that, just going with the day tab here. So I selected the day tab. If I come here, it'll ask me that. See here, it will ask that get a text. I need to select one date from this drop down, right? So from this drop down, I need to select one date. That's the reason what I'll do is here I'll be using the property called select item by text. What is the text is the day variable. Whatever the data is there in the day variable, that item will be selected. Okay. So we need to customize these object properties. Here also I forgot in the previous step. So I'm removing all unnecessary things. Also, I'll be removing this. The same way, 
will be doing for the month as well. item by text here i'll be choosing the variable one okay. go back to the variables here in the month variable i forget to define the default value so let me do that right. here also i forget to define the default value so i'm defining some default value as 2001 Edit this and again I'm removing the necessary object properties so it will not be quite and the last time we are going to capture the Yes. If component have captured, I am customizing this as well. Here instead of month, I will be giving And I need to remove this extra object properties. Okay, so all this stuff. Selling this. Next one is we need to select the gender. It's a tricky one. Please observe. So here I came and I'm going to capture. this just capturing the male part here just capturing the male part so here i'm capturing the male part how can i do the female part i can capture one more time for the female part then i can implement a if condition if gender value is equals to male execute this uh, capture condition if gender value is equal to female, execute another capture condition. Like this, in general, we will be doing. See how we will be doing. I will show you in the variable part. See in the gender, I forget to mention the gender, right? So here, will I mention. So how we can do? Go to the if statement. condition I'm taking so gender equals to male just execute this okay. and then here I need to change the property right here what action I need to take just select because radio button will be doing select you should not go with the click operation you should go with the select operation for the radio button so that's the reason the action have selected as select and in the else part again we'll be recapturing again we'll be captured here will be captured the female part like this we will be doing but see here we wrote the four lines of code but in some places we can use the smart way so how can we do that is let me remove this thing that thing is gone let me put this here I remove all this if condition stuff simply i'll customize this i'll go to this object properties here I'll be using this one, domex path. This one I'll remove. HTML type I'll keep it. 
path i'll remove this one this one. if you observe this html value is there i am enabling this property and here i'll pass the gender variable i'll pass the gender variable so if i do like this then let me make it as female because i captured the male radio button right you feel that as i captured the male radio button it's going to be selected the male one so that's the reason i'm just making it as the So like this, I did. And next is the hobby, right? Hobby checkbox. I need to do that. For the checkbox also, we will be implementing the same technique. I'm copying this. Let me go on. Capture. Selecting the drawing. The properties this and this and in the value place where it is drawing, I will just replace. I'll just assign the sample string for now. Later on, I'll be assigning the hobby value to this sample string from the list variable because we assign the hobby to the list variable, right? That's the reason. I did this. Just to reconfirm, just uh, capturing one more checkbox and uh, observe the property. And here the action should be checked because this is the checkbox, right? Yeah. So that's the reason the action should be checked. So here I'm just choosing the check. See, even though that is in check condition, that will be checked. Even though the particular checkbox is an unchecked condition, that will be checked because we selected the check. Instead of using, if I use toggle now, if it's already checked, that will be unchecked. If it's already unchecked, that will be checked. So like this, toggle will work. So as for our requirement, it has to be checked. That's the reason I'm just using check property here. So let me remove all this. So here, I'll go to the copies as well, and I'll change the copy from trying to see me okay. now i need to keep the loop right list loop that's the reason and simply go to the loop just uh, try to observe the, this task carefully because all our upcoming sessions can be built on top of this particular task only Okay, that's the reason I am writing this uh, task in this way. So you may not understood why I selected the input while creating the variables. I can tell you that uh, in coming classes why I selected as the input. So if you want to understood the upcoming sessions, you should make sure what I am doing here exactly. Then only you will be clear with the coming session. Okay. So here I am just taking the loop and I need to look through the list. Which list I have only one list. We have multiple lists also. We need to select the correct obvious list and the list variable should be assigned to the sample string. Like this will be okay. So 
let's run this session we'll see whether data will be filled as expected or will it show any errors i'm just running it so is entering checking okay. 2021 female selected singing also selected let's go and see the top set pick yes female selected whenever i automating i automated to the male but as i perform the object customization it has selected as expected as female here also whenever i automating i have chosen the drawing checkbox but it selected the singing because of the customization see like this we can update the web forms using automation anyway this is about this session